Coventry United Match Day highlights are sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters plus 125cc motorcycles, also stocking a wide selection of helmets, protective clothing and accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440 Email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or pay them a visit at 301 Walsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2 4BL. Coleman as well on the slide challenge on Chris Ham. Coleman ball forward, Cox is on side, stumbles, he goes foot to it and Blackburn just saves. If it wasn't for that stumble, United surely would be in front. Thornton again. Thornton long ball. And O'Grady is onside here with space in front of him. It's Josh O'Grady. Plays one in for Kai Williams. Offside. It won't count. It's offside. It's into the net, but it will not count. Josh O'Grady could have tried himself, but decided to be unselfish. Laid one on a plate for Kai Williams. The only problem was Williams had strayed into an offside position. The goal will not count. He had to think O'Grady had a decent chance of scoring himself. And it was a wonderful ball down the right hand side, but still a chance of O'Grady will strike one, and it's in! Mistake rectified! Josh O'Grady catches Kieran Blackburn off guard! The keeper trying to reposition himself! O'Grady sees an opening and he takes it in some style! Coventry United have taken the lead and this one will count! What on earth was Blackburn doing there? Cleared the ball and only went as far as Josh O'Grady. Blackburn wasn't ready for it. As we say here on Coventry United Match Day, you don't win the raffle if you don't buy a ticket. And that ticket ended up in a goal for Coventry United and a fifth goal of the season for Josh O'Grady. Walks away from the halfway line, but he's laid it off for Ben Balance. Balance lofted ball, Kai Williams onside. O'Grady flicks it over, Kai Williams will strike over the crossbar. Corner given. A vital challenge from Sam Hunt, the substitute, getting his foot to the ball just as Williams was ready to strike at goal. Now look at Jay! Blackburn. He's being encouraged to look towards Sawson. He tries to, and Balance gets his head to it first. The manager being a little bit too loud with his tactics there. Cameron, Balance. Back to Cameron. Can he stride through the defence up? Plays one forward. Nice little one two there with Kai Williams. Still going, Courtney. Cameron! Over the crossbar. What a goal that would have been. He just couldn't quite keep the shot down, but brilliant link up play there between Courtney Cameron and Kai Williams. This looks like a completely new Coventry United side, a team that has disappointed fans in the last couple of weeks or so without a winning four games. This is incredible. United have looked threatening for the majority of the first half. Sam Hunt plays the ball down the left hand side. Here's Ham. Can he beat Prinzel? Still going. Ham will stroke from long range and tips over the goal by Rich Morris. He had to be on his toes for that one. We've seen a couple of long range efforts so far today. That one is in the closest to going into the net. Chris United. He had it away. Ball cleared by Cox. It's bouncing towards Kai Williams. And Williams will he get onto the loose ball? Williams over the goalkeeper! Side netting! <laughs> Coventry United seem almost certain to score a second goal at the moment. The ball from Chris Cox bouncing awkwardly for the Westfields defenders. James February got a toe on it, but he couldn't get it away. It fell for Williams. He tried to chip it over the goalkeeper, but he just brushed the side netting on the way out. Come out! It trans transformed the game. That match ended nil-nil. Long range strike, and it's in. It's gone in. 
Craig Jones has struck one low and hard. I thought that Rich Morris had got that one, but it has it's gone straight under him. Slow motion. Well, it wasn't a strike that I imagine would cause much of a much of a headache for Rich Morris. It seems if it would have been a comfortable save, but it's gone into the bottom corner. And Craig Jones has scored. It's 1-1. A goal out of nowhere for Westfields. <laughs> Is Greaves and tries the return ball to pole on. It's easily intercepted, kept in by Valance. Cox clears, looks for Ben Mackey. And the, the Westwood man seems to be on the back of Mackey, but Williams has got the ball now. Kai Williams, will he strike? He tries to. Williams again, and Blackburn gets there. But the ball's free again. Williams tries to find Mackey. It's just not going to fall for United. <laughs> Clearance made. And away by Glover. It's come back to O'Grady for Coventry United. Final set with him. Cross is put in. Ben Mackey onside. Lifts it over the goalkeeper. Will it go to the net? No, it won't. Just wide. Oh, I thought for a split second there it was going to duck under the crossbar and into the net. But that net wouldn't bulge. The ball Come went on. wide. Come on. Get it on. Get it on. Stop. And the referee calls time on a fantastic match here at Sphinx Drive. Although United were the better team, it's five league games without a win for the Red and Greens. United can be satisfied with the performance, certainly the result not so much. They were disappointed with the goal they conceded. But this is certainly the performance that Terrenson wanted to see after a frustrating few weeks. But it's still... It still doesn't change the fact that United have got another game without winning. It's a game they should have won, but it's a game ultimately that will only reward them with one point here at Sphinx Drive. The final score, Coventry United 1, Westfields 1.